Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 203, Nasdaq's up 24, SP's up 19. Gold, gold contract down $9.90, trading at 1995 an ounce. Get silver down 33 cents, 24 dollars 52 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 84, trading at $78.90 a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten year note down not six ticks, trading 112.01. The 30 year off seven ticks at 126.05 in King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 284 ticks at 101.355. The euro is out here at a price point of 110. The yen is at 141. The British pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, you know, if you did just heard the update, the bottom line is that we have a high volume low, man. And this is pretty cool because if you take a look at what we've done here, you know, the bottom line is that the futures got up to the 45.92. You're at 45.83 right now. This high volume low is laying out here at 45.68. It can, and it's like it's a monster high volume low too. So it's going to get hit. If it doesn't get hit today, it'll get hit tomorrow morning. So that's it. That, that's seventy six thousand contracts. Now what you can also see is this: when we got up to the highs, they spiked that high. They spiked the high from Friday. The high on Friday was this uh, forty five ninety. They spiked it to ninety two, gave it up, and then you can see the volume expanded again. Because the last just a little blurb on the way down at that forty five eighty eighty is also a high volume low. So I suspect first we're going to go after that one, then we'll go after the next one. NQs, same type of setup. Take a look at the NQs. Now what's interesting about this is that if that's what we do, then that, the volatility is, getting, is going higher right now. We haven't had the, you know, the volatility to calm down. But if we do that, if we get down to that low, that, the volatility is picking up again. So in the NQs, what you can see is the now, this is where it gets interesting. The NQs are weaker, and you can see that they didn't make it to the highs of Friday. That's the differential. The NQs only made it up to the uh, price point here of 618, 15,618. Right now, you're at 558, and the number we're talking is 483. And you can see it. It's a monster, man. It's a monster down there. Just sticking out, saying, come play with me. Come play with me. <laughs> Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market. So, note and bond, we're going to have some movement in note and bonds. The Fed meet starts meeting tomorrow, goes into Wednesday, 2 o'clock Wednesday. We're going to have the statements. More than likely, you're going to get the quarter points. They're going to be at 5.5 short-term rate. Now, five, the intriguing thing about 5.5, folks, is that that's exactly what Powell said last March when we were starting this, uh, you know, rate hike up. So, we'll see where that shakes out. Right now, you get the 10-year down, five, t uh, five ticks. And this is really short volume. So the notes and bonds still want higher price. There's only 99,000 contracts traded. They're, they're going against 1.8 million contracts and 2 million contracts. So that's telling me notes and bonds still want higher price. We go over to the gold contract. Gold contract has a lot of support at this area. The, you have two different signs of strength in gold. And it's come into one, and it's below the, this one price point. It's below the price point of the, uh, there it is right there. It's below the 1997 or 1994. So now it's coming into the second, you know, wide, wide bar. That, that wide bar started at 1972 and goes all the way to 2003. And if we go over to the dollar, it's all about this good old dollar. This dollar, you know, it looks like 102 is game right now. And where the 102 comes from, I'll close that. Where the 102 comes from, that's where it basically just broke the consolidation. Now, the 102.090, and I believe that's 
Let's just see if this is a 50%. I know it's more than the 38 because we already did it. Yeah, it's more than a 52. Actually, oh, this is interesting. It's, that's a 0.618. So this is where this gets interesting now. That, if that's where we go, that's a 0.618 retracement. So when you normally do a 0.618 retracement, by the way, the next move down normally doesn't go break the low. So this is going to get really intriguing inside of the dollar as to where we're going to go, meaning it's going to get choppy. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX right here, you got Lucent, the car maker, that's up 4.6%. Pendul is up 3.5%. JD's up 3.5%. Tesla's up 33 taken away from it. <laughs> Siri, how is that? <laughs> that's going all over the place. Sirius Satellite's down 15%. Intuitive Surgical is down 3.5%. Gilead's off 3.5%. I got to see the Sirius Satellite. This is blowing my mind. But I saw it last week. They went, it went up dramatically. Look at this, just gave it up. Yeah. I mean, Sirius Satellite last week went from one, actually, it started off, it went from 492, went up to 765. Well, the good news is you're pulling back with light volume. So we'll see where the rest of that shakes out, but it's not that bad. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness. Start right there, let me see. The strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise out here, you have Goldman is putting 50 positive points. Home Depot, 30. Boeing, 23. Uh, J.P. Morgan, 21. Taken away from it. American Express, minus 16. You got Salesforce, minus 15. Merck, minus 9. And, you know, the amount of earnings that are coming out this week. This is the monster week, folks, okay? So... You're going to have monster numbers of earnings coming out. You're going to have the, the Fed starts a meeting tomorrow at 2 o'clock. On Wednesday, you're going to have the statement plus the news conference at 2.30. So between short-term rates, CPI, inflation, and earnings, it's going to be a fun week out here. Stay right there, folks. We're going to come back with our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento. Uh, Steve is under the weather a bit. We're going to get Larry on. Larry's going to be doing a workshop for you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.